In today's video, I'm going to show you how I curl my hair to get this disheveled, lived-in look using a regular curling iron. Let's just jump right in. I just washed and blow dried my hair, but before I blow dry, I like to use Skin Foods Avocado Mask to help with my dry ends and a heat protectant spray, which I'm not really picky with. When I curl my hair, I like to start from the back and work my way up to the front, so I'm going to clip up the rest for now. This first layer is usually hidden, so I don't really care too much about it. I curl all the strands away from my face on both sides until they meet in the middle at the back. Also, if my eye looks red or swollen, it's because I got a sty. No! I hope it's not too distracting. I usually just hold the curling iron for about 5 seconds. That's pretty much all it needs. It should look something like this, and it's totally okay if there are a few strands left uncurled. No one will see it. Moving on to the next layer, this is where things get a little bit more tricky. For the strands in the front, I curl them away from my face, but the next strand behind them, I curl inwards towards my face. And I just keep alternating from there, going outward, inward, outward, inward, until they meet in the middle at the back. For the third layer, I like to curl the front strands inward towards my face. Don't forget to leave about an inch or so at the bottom. You don't want to curl that part. If I curled it in the same direction as a layer before, it would blend together too much and that's not really what I want. For the last layer or two, I curl the front strands away from my face so that the entire look opens up my face. If you want to make your face slimmer, then I think you can do the opposite and curl it inwards. I just know that hasn't looked good on me from past experience. Don't forget, you always want to start curling from the middle of the strand instead of the bottom. That will give you the best curl. And that's about it. You just alternate the direction of your curls. Once you get a hang of it, it's really easy. Once I'm done curling, I sometimes like to use this spray from Bumble and Bumble to add some texture and volume and give it that shaggy or airy kind of look. Then I like to use this Layrite Cement Hair Clay to add the finishing touches. I think this is more for men, but I love this stuff. I just run this on the bottom half of my strands to give the curls a bit more definition. I also use it to tame some flyaway strands that are sticking out so I don't look crazy. This is the completed look. So I hope you liked this video and found it to be helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you try this at home, share it with me via Twitter or Instagram or Snap, whatever. I'd love to see your take on it. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Talk to you guys soon. Bye!